taught Fire Breathing's Round 1 and 2 today. And something a little different from your other videos, we don't endorse learning Fire Breathing over the internet. So we're not going to step by step go over what we did, but we are going to tell you the process we led you through so you can use your sheet to walk through it. We first discussed all of the various injuries that, you, that can occur while you're Fire Breathing. Um, what can happen to you while you're fire breathing and yeah, what can happen afterwards. And how to avoid all those bad things that can happen to you. You'll find that on the first block of your sheet that we gave you this class if you kept it. And in the second part of the class we talked about um, a lot of safety. We talked about how to safety for a fire breather because it is different for regular uh, safety than it is for fire breathing. And you can follow that along in your sheet as well. And then after that, we walked you step by step through how to take your first breaths. We worked on posture, we worked on making sounds, breathing from the diaphragm. Then we took breaths with water and then with fuel. We're really sorry it was too windy to use fire today. And that was it. We recommend that you reference your sheet, that you don't spread them around, and that you practice very safely when you're at home. Please don't teach anybody. And we look forward to seeing you next wildfire. Can they email you for their sheet if they don't yes. have it? Certainly email us for, our, for the sheet. Our contact should be on the Wildfire site. Feel free to contact either of us. It's a nice handy Google Doc. And that's it.